Today's video is going to give you three different tips on how to create a blitz in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. For those of you that this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to welcome you and I want to say thank you for watching the video. If at the end of this video you still have a question, please uh, comment and let me know exactly what you need and I'll do everything I can to help. Alright, so let's get into this. So, I wanted to make a video for you guys today and I want to talk about three different tips that you need when you're blitzing. So the first tip is to have two controllers. You gotta go into practice mode and you gotta have two controllers. A lot of people will tell you to um, go in and just do it in the in the exhibition match, which there's some value in, but I like to at least start in practice mode and then I go to the exhibition game and then I go to the online match. But basically what you want to do when you're trying to when you're trying to create a blitz is you gotta find something that fits the philosophy. So we talked last week about the nickel 335 wide formation and how to utilize that. This week we're going to talk about the 3-4 over formation and we're just going to see if we can mess around and find something from this. So blitzes that normally work and here's my number one tip is to blitz from depth. I, depth. I think looping blitzes are going to be the way to go this year. So uh, the play that we're going to look at here is uh, Trio Sky Zone. We may also take a look at weak will block free press or stink pitch zone depending on the success rate of Trio Sky Zone. The first thing you want to do when you come out is you want to go ahead. Uh, wait, it looks like we have the auto flip. We need to get that off. Um, let me see here. How do you take that off? That's another thing too, guys, is you need to make sure that you don't have auto flip on because it screws up. It screws up your defense when you're looking from a blitzing perspective. It's not a bad feature to have. Um, it, I just don't like it because it messes with your blitzes. It can change things. It just it's not, it doesn't keep it consistent. Consistency is really important when you're blitzing. All right, so three, four over. We'll look at Trio Sky Zone here. So my thinking here with this is I can base a line and I can spread my defensive line, and that's going to bring Harrison this gap here. So now we have a pretty good little, um, pretty good little thing here. Uh, let's see it. There we go. So all we've done is we've spread the linebackers, we've spread the line, and we're just going to snap the ball. We're going to see what, what we think. And there you can see we get some pressure, but not quite clean. So then what you want to do is, and here's the second tip, is to utilize instant replay to try to get some in, to try to try get some data, get some information. So once this happens, we back out. We're going to look at instant replay, and we're going to try to figure out what the line is thinking. So that's where you want to flip this and really just kind of focus in on the, the line of scrimmage. Um, so here... The center does a good job at taking number 90, and then they slide in. Number 93 gets taught, taken out. The edge rush is not there, and we're not able to get it done. So what I'm thinking is if we can take 98 and 54 and crash them to that side, then it might be a little bit better. So let's try this now. Let's try to base the line, um, spread linebacker, spread line, and then we're going to crash the line to slant inside in hopes that... 98 will get 72. So let's try to look at that and see what we get. So there we get the B gap pressure and we get some pressure. So now what you want to do, and this is the third tip that I wanted to share with you, is you want to figure out um, how can you get the same amount of pressure with fewer blitzers. Okay, so that's always important. So if we look here, we get the pressure right off the edge or right through the B gap. The center um, just doesn't, doesn't slide over like he did the previous play. So now what we want to do is we want to start tinkering with it a little bit more. Um, and this is one other kind of bonus tip for you. Is you only want to change one thing at a time. So we did, we, we're going to keep the same setup. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take Olivier Vernon here. And we're just going to uh, put him in man cover. Or we're going to drop him in a zone. So this year with these guys, you're going to want to drop them into uh, zones. But as you can see here, it, it, it screws it up a little bit. So what we want to do is vertical hook to the right. So we're going to go down on the D-pad. Or excuse me, vertical hook to the left. I'm sorry. So we're going to go up on the D-pad. So he's going to drop right into this seam here. And then we're, we're probably going to use our, um, this guy right here on the play. So we're going to kind of hover him over the middle line, over the middle center. But we'll, we need to put him back here, though. And we'll show you that in a minute. We're probably going to use her him. We'll snap the ball. And that time, uh, as you see there, the blitz didn't work. So... That means we can't drop him in a, in a hook zone, but we could potentially drop him in a quarterback spy. So let's try that. Let's try putting him in a spy. 
And uh, we're going to go ahead and spread the linebackers out. We snap the ball. And still doesn't come in. Okay. So now that means, okay, well, we can't do anything with him. So we're going to leave him blitzing. So now let's try it again just to double check and make sure that it still works with him blitzing. Snap, go. And there you go. There's the pressure right off the edge like we wanted. Okay, so that tells me a couple things. Number one, it's, it, it works pretty well with five men blitzing. Now we're going to try another thing that I'm thinking. If I take this guy right here um, and sit him in this gap, my thought, my thinking is the blitz is still going to work. So I need to make sure because because what I want to do as a user player is I want to be in the in the direct middle of the field. So I'm going to sit in the middle of the field here, see what happens. You see the pressure still comes in. Now I'm going to, and I'm just going to go through this checklist. So now I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to put Vernon in his own, or a quarterback spy. I'm going to bring him in. Snap, go. I'm just going to lurk out. See the blitz didn't work. Okay, so it doesn't really affect it. So you just kind of go through these checklists of things that you can do to uh, to improve your blitz. One other thing we'll try here is the quarterback contain rush, just to see how that plays. We'll snap the ball and go. And you see we kind of get through, but at the same time it's still kind of sloppy. So then your conclusion, then, then that's kind of the final step, is to draw a conclusion. What am I going to do with this play? Well, now I know I need to blitz five people, and they need to come right down here. Um, and I, you know, and I need to just crash line out and keep it simple. And you see the pressure is going to come. So, anyways, guys, those are the top three things that I go through the the mental checklist, if you will, for creating a blitz. So, um, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and just comment on this video and let me know how you found my channel. Number one, number two, uh, what is it that I can help you with in Madden? I just want to kind of help be a, be a be a resource for you guys. So anything you need, let me know, and I'm going to try to help improve your game. Uh, and then one other thing from, from you guys, if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. That way you're going to be able to get notified whenever we have Madden 18 content for free on my channel. So I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden 18 content.